The biggest fireworks celebration in the Midwest is now just two weeks away. You may not be able to see the setup downtown just yet, but the preparations for Red, White and Boom started months ago. Our Kyle Beachy shows us how it takes a whole community to make it possible. The fireworks and the music may get all the glory when it comes to Red, White and Boom, but there are many unsung heroes who are working behind the scenes to ensure that you have a safe and exciting day full of fun. The printing presses are moving and the staging is ready to be set up. All the sights and sounds of Red, White and Boom start right here locally. We take a lot of pride in the fact that we're part of the community of Columbus. John Page with Page Tech Limited has been behind the scenes for Boom for over 20 years. And, and nothing says community involvement and American Pie more than, you know, the fireworks on the 4th of July. He makes sure the event goes off without a hitch, building the structures, the stages, lighting them up, and making sure the whole crowd can hear the show. I would say it would take hundreds, a total of hundreds of hours, man hours, to, to put it together. And of course, we started planning for it right after last year's boom. Thomas Gross with G&J has been partnering with Boom for decades. G&J uh, has been selling and has been affiliated with Red, White & Boom for um, over 40 years. We're super proud of that. They keep you refreshed with Pepsi products, but they also print all the signage you see around town. Uh, they needed somebody to step in and kind of a short notice, and uh, we were able to do that and gear up very quickly, and we were really happy to be able to, to do it. Both have seen business grow with Boom. One small truck in my driveway, equipment in the garage, and we've now uh, built it up. We own half this building here. But it's more than just dollars and cents. But it's really about helping the community um, and, um, you know, bringing excitement, uh, bringing information and um, just really helping um, the community uh, put this terrific event on. Being a part of that, you know, there's nothing like the smell of the popcorn and, and all the, uh, and the funnel cakes and, uh, and everything else, maybe a beverage or two. It's pretty fun. And Paige tells me the stages and structures take his crews about three days to put up, but they'll have everything torn down and clear by the next morning.